Last time on Abandoned Comfort, we did a whole lot of cleaning and we emptied out our boat. Then we gave you a tour of her, kind of like MTV Cribs, just a, a whole lot smaller. Lastly, we told you about my boating experience and showed you our plans for our five day shakedown cruise. So at the beginning of our series, we said that we'd be making a ton of mistakes. So this episode is full of them. To make it more fun for us to relive these tough learning experiences, we'll be for every mistake we made along the way. So the splash went extremely well. Given it was the first time that either of us had done this, it, it really panned out surprisingly well. And we, uh, we motored alongside their finger pier, and then we tied up for a little bit, and then once we checked all the seacocks, making sure that everything was good, we then motored over to the fuel pier. So then we filled up and the fuel gauge said we were full. Stake number one. Going off the fuel gauge. We'll come back to that later. So we knew we needed a third crew member for this trip and at first I thought I'd bring along my dad because he was in the Coast Guard for 35 years and he's a master diesel mechanic. However, given the fact that my grandfather recently passed away, it wasn't the best timing for my dad to come down. So we put up a, a post on a forum talking about the route that we were taking and if we could do it given our experience. And we actually had someone reach out and they said that they just did the route, what, like two weeks ago? Yeah. Going the opposite way and he was a recently licensed captain as well. Yep. So he said, if you pay for my meals, pay me 50 bucks a day, I can show you guys how to sail. He said they had a, a ton of sailing experience and it actually ended up saving us money. It cost less than flying my dad down. We learned a lot from him. Yeah. Yeah, once we got offshore, we definitely learned a lot. However, once he came on board, uh, we sort of got lackadaisical and kind of just left it in his hands. And I think we, we put a little bit too much faith in just him running the boat at first. Yeah. So, mistake number two. Lack of communication. Who's really in charge? So a couple people reached out to us and said that we wouldn't make it under the railroad bridge, which is the lowest bridge um, for the Okeechobee waterway. And the previous owner said that we could make it and we trusted Jim and it worked out in our favor. Mistake number three. Not knowing our exact vertical clearance. It's just stuck on the antenna. Yep. Oh, <laughs> oh I guess. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> so the first lock we got to was my echo lock, and we cleared it just fine. And then from there, it led into Lake Okeechobee. The wind was coming from the south, and before we left, we told the captain that we wanted to sail as much as possible. This was one of the main reasons we hired him. So these next few are gonna be kinda of tough to relive, so probably gonna need another beer for this one. Here you go. Thank you. So, mistake number four putting up full sails in 15 to 20 knots of wind.
Mistake number five, ripping the sacrificial leech on our head sail. <sighs> Mistake number six, ripping the furling line fair leads. All of them. Mistake number seven. Feeling so far over to the port side that we found out that our port lights leak. A lot. Mistake number eight. Not knowing what that loud beeping sound is. Mistake number nine. Sending Kelsey down below to keep the boat from sinking. Yep, that was the high water alarm. And mistake number 10, not respecting disorganized lake chop enough and not feeding Kelsey driving me before we left on the trip. Just got done being seasick. Day number one. As you can imagine, we didn't get most of this on film. With everything happening, the last thing on our minds was to grab the camera. Knowing what we know now, putting up all sails in 20 knots of wind on a lake, trying to stay in the narrow channel, all for the first time, wasn't the right move. Luckily the water didn't get over the floorboards and as you can see here, we laid down some towels on the leaky port light. So we pulled down the headsail to replace it with one of our smaller jibs once we got through the lake. So we went through the Moorhaven lock and we cleared it just fine. After that we went under three more bridges and through one more lock. And then we were finally almost to Fort Myers. Things were starting to look up for us. Back to the place you know well, all you have to do is come this way Back the way you go And I just gonna let you know That I'ma be here and do my thing That's just the way I know Come on! Got an addiction If you listen You gon' find exactly what you miss Come visit your way to distance I'm gon' find things skin away Cause I remember easy living Like it was just the other day It's been a long time since I see your face You can come around when you need to Oh, we gon' be happy to see you And when you come through all these people They gon' love you When I hold my grip, I lay low and sit I try hard, but I can't resist A quiet place where the candles lit And I ain't gotta hear a channel switch But I know that it couldn't go down like this Back to the place you know Well, all you have to do is come this way But I back the way you go Come on And I just gonna let you know That I'ma be here Cause I know our history I know, I know, I know But I got a lot to say And if you come my way I don't think everything and anything can stop my day Got a lot to do, got a lot to lose Better get up on this microphone I can talk to you, yeah You can come around when you need to Oh, we're gonna be happy to see you And when you come through all these
We were greeted by dolphins upon arrival and we're about one mile out from our anchorage. And remember mistake number one, trusting the fuel gauge? Yeah. So how about some positive news? We bought a Towboat US membership about a week before we left and it paid for itself right away. We hitched a ride over to the marina a few hundred yards from where we were actually anchoring for the night. We filled up all the tanks on board, motored over to the anchorage, dropped the hook, and this was our first ever anchorage. It was amazing. Failures small or large aren't the end of the world or the end of the dream. We did everything that was recommended to us on this shakedown cruise and we went against our gut and hired a delivery captain. And guess what? Things still went wrong. Who knows what would happen if we did it on our own? Things might have been better, might have been worse. But either way, we learned a lot. At the end of the day, we survived and we learned a ton. And the second part of our journey was about a thousand times better than the first. Stay tuned for next episode when we finally experience our boat sailing offshore and finish our journey to St. Petersburg. What good is living the life you've been given If all you do is stand in place I'm on a river that winds on forever Follow till I get where I'm going Maybe I'm heading to die But I'm still gonna try I guess I'm going home And guess what? Shit still went wrong. Should I not say shit? That works. All right. Just broke. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Well, got a backup.